the second unit, it's another 10 by 15, but this one, mostly small stuff and not near as full. As you can see, a lot of boxes. There is a china cabinet here, um, a shelf, like a cube shelf, but lots of boxes, fragile decorative items. Look at all these little boxes in here is packed in. Um, National Geo, probably National Geographics, 3T. So that's paints fragile. If you look back here, there's bags of clothes, like space bags full of clothes. There's a grill over there. Nice looking grill. I don't know what this glass goes to. A couple small pieces of furniture. Um, some kind of chairs, I guess that is. But lots of boxes, but we should be able, compared to the other one, we should be able to knock this out pretty quick. And for the most part, I'm just going to, because we've been here for a long time, we're ready to go. We're going to just load this up mostly, and I'll show some of the stuff when we get back. We got a thigh master. I don't know what this is, Microbix. Some kind of shop vac. I guess maybe it filters out. Supposedly more than others, I don't know. But this one right here, the funny thing is the one down there I paid $170 for with all that stuff. This one turns out there's not anywhere near as much stuff, but you never know what you're going to find in these boxes. I paid $260 for. Um, so that one down there most likely is going to be the better deal unless you just, we just find you know a lot of good stuff in the boxes. So I don't really know for sure until we dig through. You never know, you might find some jewelry in here, but... That one down there had some pretty, you know, big ticket items. Had a lot of heavy lifting and some damaged stuff, but some pretty good stuff. I don't know what that says. Shoes. So probably shoes in there. Books, books, kids learning. So we're going to load this thing up so we can get out of here. I am going to open one box here. It says gaming. Let's see if it's, is it going to be video games or just like board games? I got to see before we go. And it is video games. Look at this. Um, whoa, look at down here. These are like um, 360 and stuff like that. But no, here's the good stuff right here. Look. Oh, look at this. This is the Nintendo. good stuff. Donkey Kong, Mario, Mario 3, Mario 2. Um, Nintendo 64. Tetris. We got Super Nintendo. What do we have? Jurassic Park. Aladdin. Aladdin. Frogger, what else? Frogger. Super so Soccer and War. War oh, Wario's Woods. That might be a good one. That's like the evil Mario. And then there's, I don't know what this game is down on the bottom. It's in a case right here. Killer Instinct. Let's see. These are Super Nintendo. Killer Instinct. NBA Jam, Super Mario World, The Lion King, Pac-Man 2. What else do we got? What do we have here? We've got... There's a Super Nintendo controller. Is it still in the package? It's got a little rip in it, but yeah, it's never been opened. These are like newer ones, like reproduction ones, I think. But this one right here is never been opened. And then we have... Okay, this is the little aftermarket thing to play. I think you can play... Nintendo or Super Nintendo and I believe but we got lots of controllers. There's like there's a Wii Okay, there's two Wii's an Xbox 360 all the controllers and everything Wii accessories Those are the ones we already looked at right and the virtual reality Lee was talking about so That's a good box right there With some few new games and then some retro Games. I watch it. Never can get stuff back into the boxes the way <laughs> it originally was. All right, we are packing the boxes and stuff in. We got a desk. Lee went in to get the last load. I didn't even notice this. I thought it was like a umbrella or something, but this is some kind of a gun. Probably a BB gun, but let's see. Oh look, Red Rider. pink it's got some rust on it little pink 760 pump master is this a red rider There's another guy in here nope then we got a buck 
BB gun. We got the Red Rider bag and two BB guns. Neither one of them are a Red Rider. All right, let's go through some of these boxes that came out of this unit here. You know, the one we didn't really have time to look through any of the boxes. We did look through the one that had the gaming stuff in it. Um, let's see here. We got some Barbies. These will all be auction items on the Barbies here. Starflight. Fairy. We've got the WNBA Barbie. We have Hula. <laughs> Hula Hair Barbie. Some of the names for Barbies are funny. Got a couple of these small ones. Splash and Color Barbie. Tooth Fairy Barbie. And wonder, how old are these things? Let's see. These, 1996. Not too old, but... <laughs> It's funny now, 90s is, is getting older. Butterfly Art Barbie. Okay, so you're going to give the Barbie tattoos there. All right, keep on going. We got Cool Blue Barbie. And Florida Vacation Midge, friend of Barbie. So there's a few. Oh, we got one more back here. Florida Vacation Teresa, friend of Barbie. Oh, there was actually another Teresa that I called Barbie. Wasn't paying attention. Those are all nice and easy auction items. Some of the stuff did end up getting a little bit wet because we were so full. We were putting stuff outside and it came up kind of a surprise rainstorm. Got some of this wet. Hopefully we didn't actually damage anything you know that was valuable by getting it wet. But we'll see. This just looks like. It's like little, oh, they're little aprons. This one, I think that's what it said. Yeah, kids' aprons. First, I thought it was just like some scrap pieces of fabric. That would be good for like a preschool teacher or something. Or I guess somebody that has small kids that likes to do stuff like that. Holy crap, here's a whole bucket of crayons mostly crayons it's a bunch of them we'll throw that in the auction see i guess somebody might bid on it but we got more crayons here some mixed up markers and colored pencils a lot of colored pencils this is an art set but it doesn't really feel like there's anything in here it feels empty and it is mostly empty. We'll just throw these crayons in the bucket. Keep on moving. Expansion deck. What would... What do you meme? Some kind of game. Don't know nothing about it. We'll throw it now because some of these card games can be pretty expensive. I don't know anything about that one. Oh, here's the game right here. What do you meme? And then it has they have the expansion pack. An adult party game for meme lovers. Okay. We got some little paint and junk in here. Um, brain games. Looks like a lot of it. Looks like most of those were done, so we'll get rid of that. Rainforest scratch and sketch. It's like a good dollar aisle item and so we're about done with this box so it was mostly kind of crafting type stuff I guess you could say so there's a, just there's a lot of there was a lot of little boxes in this this unit look pretty or pretty organized a couple of the boxes like this box right here actually it was so wet when we picked it up the one down here all the you know it kind of ripped apart so that one's been not exactly how we found it but most of these there this is nat geo there was one one back one box of national geographics it was so wet i had to just throw it away because the magazines were all soaking wet and they were just going to be they were ruined this one looks like it probably stayed dry i mean it's just magazines it's not nothing you know 
not a big deal, but 80. There's one from the 60s, 1967. 77, so these are older ones, 1970. We'll put them out there in a lot in the auction, and maybe somebody will be interested in collecting these things, especially since a few of them are a little bit older. We got the, look at that old Christmas Coke ad there on the back. That's a 1964. That's kind of cool. 1964. But these would be good for teachers and all that kind of stuff. Like elementary school teachers. You know all those things you do where you cut out all the pictures and everything? 1981, Colum the Spaceship Columbia. We got a... I was about to say that's a hummingbird, but that's not a hummingbird. It looks like some kind of moth going up to that flower. 1964. Alright, so moving on from the magazines. because Probably not going to really be worth anything, but let's see. I'll hold off on looking. That's just dishes. Let's see what else we can find. Here's a little tiny box. And it has index cards we can actually use these up front to make prices on furniture and all that kind of stuff so definitely gonna hang on to these find somewhere to set them another like i said a lot of small boxes that they have stuff packed in this one says paint And it is paint. It's full of all this little, you know, crafting paint, acrylic paint and all that. This stuff adds up. Like that one feels like it's mostly full. Mostly full. And look right here, you got um, these little things of acrylic paint. So this whole thing, whole entire thing, make one lot in the auction out of it. Let it roll, see where it goes. Now this box is wet on the bottom. Is it an inkjet printer cartridge, or did they put something else in here? Um, looks like scrapbooks, a little, not even, they, it looks like the part of the picture they didn't want. They cut the actual person out, and that's the leftover. But this photo album here, there's no pictures in it. We'll put that in the dollar area. Those are, those are kind of hard to sell. You know, most people don't actually have any photos. They're all on their phone. They don't have real photos. Typically what most people are doing now, I guess, it, when they want a picture to put into a frame to like hang in their house, they just go and have, you know, that one picture printed off or printed off themselves instead of going and getting a whole, going and getting the whole roll from a trip or something like you used to do. So people aren't filling up photo albums anymore. They're filling up photo albums in the cloud of actual real ones okay this is all movies dvds here all right i just went through all the movies i didn't think you'd really want to see that but a lot of just regular dvds i did find a mary poppins brand new might throw that in the auction somebody might bid on it this says this was artist magazines so i don't know how wet this got if it got wet at all Oh, Lord. It was really what the box just kind of crumbled on me. <laughs> so, Artist Magazine, Argus Magazine. It's literally Artist Magazine. The Artist. Okay. The bottom of the box was just wet, so the weight of the magazine's just kind of... Came right through the box there all right let's look at something else here oh stinky Sealed up shoes. Oh, God, stinks. I mean, there's some decent ones here, but it just stinks because it's been closed up like that. God. Ooh. 
All right, so that's just, doesn't look like anything spectacular, just kind of some regular, ugh, regular old shoes. Adult books. It's not those kind of adult, oh, it's just, because there were some of them marked kids books, and I think these are just regular books. All right, just had another box of DVDs. Um, this one right here says kitchen servers from under the island but it does not look like that's what it is the bad thing is this box got a little bit wet so hopefully here nothing that was actually good got damaged here we've got a bunch of 45s let's see what kind of stuff we got um whitney houston ike and tina turner uh, we even got we got country here we got tanya tucker Randy Travis, um, Rick Springfield, Ozzy Osbourne, so some good ones. I mean, that one's pretty. Van Halen, unfortunately, got melted at some point. Um, I don't know what that, Rhythm Heritage, something? <laughs> Neil Young, Journey, so a lot of good, a lot of good 45s, actually. Looks like a mix of rock country got some old like tina turner and that kind of stuff let's see what else we got in this looks like it might be kind of a goodie box a spy kids comic now it's a little mcdonald's mcdonald's toy i guess you could say emmy lou harris is it gonna be in here like the cd set it looks like the cd set is in here for emmy lou harris little box set i mean i know about her but I don't really know as far as any of her music or anything actually. Here's a, a this is like a cover for 45, but it's empty for Bon Jovi. These are all covers and I don't see them in here. Village People, Aerosmith, Paul Young, there's Madonna behind there. So I don't know, maybe some of these 45s will, or some of those that are loose there. But then we do have some that like this is in here, Rick Springfield. Night Ranger, there's Bruce Springsteen, that's in there, that's a good one. Whoa, sorry, I just knocked some DVDs off. Looks like some more 45s, or at least covers for 45s. We'll just set all this here now, we'll kind of try to go through it. Some of them, that one's got something all over it, that's in the monkeys. All right. Can we get a Gone with the Wind set? Okay, luckily it's not, it didn't get damp. Some kind of a box set here, let's see. Probably a VHS, yep. Gone with the Wind VHS, deluxe edition. We've got more 45s. Starship. Oh, that's from the movie Mannequin. <laughs> Remember that one where the mannequin comes alive? Don Johnson, Heart. So just kind of a wide range of music, but all, you know, a lot of good, well-known stuff. Here's an old Pearl Jam. Look at that. $27.99 was the price on this Pearl Jam CD for some reason. Good Lord. Small, oh, look at this. Small Arms Firing Manual. 1913 corrected to april 15th 1917 so this is from 1917 over 100 years old look at this we got little targets different diagrams and stuff in here look at that man it's crazy to think over 100 years ago somebody had this book reading it probably you know learning about firing maybe carrying it around with them all right now we do have comic books we have got some comic books let's see what we got we've got punisher it looks like here oh look at this hold on i was pulling those small ones out here's a planet of the apes it's like a magazine kind of comic book magazine kind of thing 
this is cool. Look at this. That is cool. Okay. All right, let's look at these comics here. It's like like 90 stuff Punisher Challenges of the Unknown, Superman, Justice Society. So these are all right in here kind of um 90s right here. But here you go, look at this. 15 cent comic DC comic Challengers of the Unknown. That's an older comic. 1958 is what it says right there. We'll have to look at that. See, here's the Challengers of the Unknown, but this is a newer one. That's 1991. Oh, look at this right here. 15 cent. Boris Karloff tells of mystery. The chameleon creature. It could be anything waiting to strike from anywhere. It's coming out of like a chandelier, it looks like. What in the world? 1972. Okay, that's a new one, but look at this right here. Blackcock. That's a 12 cent comic right there. 1967. That's cool. The New Mutants. A little bit older. 75 cent. Um, Ronin. Okay, here we go. Sergeant Blazing Battle Action with Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos. 35 cent. Um, I have to look and I don't know what you're right offhand. There's another Challengers of the Unknown, but it's newer. This one's all messed up. Blackcock, 60 cent Blackcock comic. Nothing can stop the war will. So some older comics right there. Mixed in with some, well, not super new, but like 90s. All right, and here we go. We've got, right here on the top, we've got Moon Knight. It's like a, a 90s type of comic. Let's set this over here. Oh, look at this. The Human Fly. 35 cent. Suicide Skydive. See, this is from... Where is it at here? If I can find it here. Okay, 1978. So here's another one, the Human Fly. That's a couple issues later because that's number 12. That's number 14. And oh man, the, the cover's coming off. But we had Spider Man versus Dracula, number one. <laughs> we got some issues with those kind of falling apart. Up, oh, ooh, here's an older Iron Man, the Invincible Iron Man. That's from the 70s. Guaranteed this is because the, the price range at 35 cent. Yep, 1978. The price the price will tell you. I mean, obviously the graphics and stuff, but the price will kind of give you a really quick clue when that's from 1977 on the invaders. Challengers unknown. Challengers unknown. There's an X-Men first issue of whatever series that was. Here's Here's an older Spider-Man, 65 cent. All right, right here, The Misadventures of Merlin Jones, Walt Disney comic from 1964. Justice Society, X-Factor, Spider-Man, Challengers Unknown, Justice Society, and, okay, so some of those... There was a good, some very good ones in there. I don't know about very good, but at least older ones, interesting. Something that could potentially be worth a couple more dollars than normal. We got some dictionaries, and then we got the home improvement. I mean, the um, home, yeah, the Home Depot home improvement one, two, three book. So that was a, a pretty good box right there. Pretty good box. Some interesting stuff. Interesting. The 45s, the, the old um, firearms manual. And it said that it was going to be, um, what did it say on there? It said it was going to be like platters and stuff from the kitchen island. 
All right, this says kids learning. So we, so at this point, we know that it could be exactly what's in the on the thing, or it could be absolutely nothing as far as what it says on the box. But this is looks like kids learning stuff. We get an alphabet puzzle, baby sharks. It looks like a bunch of workbooks here. Um, yeah, workbooks, coloring books, flashcards, all that kind of stuff. All right, wall art and framed photos get this thing open no world Woody Woodbury looks at love and life all right got Woody Woodbury and now looks like we do have the actual wall art here margaritas pina colada cosmopolitan what else do we have seaside Oregon we got some family pictures there, so I was thinking we were going to find. We got a couple little um, ocean, seaside kind of things. Oh, here we go. There's a, it's not an old one, but there's an Oregon license plate. It's a definitely a rare one to find here in Georgia. Because we couldn't be any further apart between Georgia and Oregon on the other side of the country. So we find lots of Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, Florida, all those states are pretty common to find plates of, you know, and stuff around here, but Oregon is definitely not common. All right, we get another book box. Let's see what we find. Is it books? Does not look like books at all. It's dishes. What's well, uh, a... Uh, some kind of old, kind of decorative bottle there. Um, let's see. We've got some little saucers. Wonder if there's, there's like for a teacup. Wonder if there's some teacups in here. Little teacup saucers. Hand painted, made in Japan. Yep, I think. Well, no, I thought that was a teacup. That's not. Another, what is this? Oh, it's a little butter, a little vintage butter thing right here. And so there's not going to be teacups. Up oh, here's the other piece. Here's the syrup. So syrup, butter, and just the matching set. Let's see. I think it is. Hopefully it's not broken. It's not. There's for the batter. So batter, syrup, butter. That's a cool little set with the roosters on it. That'll definitely make its way into the auction. Alright. One more thing in here. This feels like a teacup. And it is a little teacup goes with this one so the other ones do not have <laughs> they don't have teacups a little saucer with no teacups so we're finding um, a lot of good stuff really a lot of good, a lot of auction stuff, a lot of um, just stuff to go in the on the dig aisle. Kind of a wide variety of stuff. Here's another little small box. It doesn't have any marking on it indicating what it might be, and it's full of phones. Yep, it's full of phones. They're all broken, and everything. But we will put these in the auction, and people will bid on them. Motorola, Samsung. It's all their old phones that were broken that they weren't going to use no more, I guess.
All right, we're back here in the back again, trying to look through some of these boxes from this unit. Um, I think Ann, she looked through all this stuff. Just a lot of knickknacks, bric-a-brac. Um, that's kind of nice, except the glass is missing, but it can still be used, definitely. Um, that's nice, marble candle holder. See, just kind of decor, a lot of clear glass over here. A candy dish. Stuff like that. But just a lot of regular old household stuff, you know, but a lot of it packed in these little boxes. So not a lot of really big ticket items, but just a lot of dollar stuff, like one to five dollar items, household stuff and all that. It is adding up though, just a few more boxes to go. A lot of it, you know, we haven't, it won't be shown on the video because it's just a lot of just, you know, regular stuff. I know people will say, well, you want to see it all, but we just can't, I mean, literally all these videos would just go on and on and on if we showed every little thing. So we just kind of, some of these, we just got to kind of skim through it, show you a couple of the highlights, show you some of the regular boxes, but can't show everything all the time because if you look see all this stuff back here i don't know if you can tell how far that room goes there's so much stuff we get so much stuff i mean we just have to it's hard to show you every little thing i mean i just don't have the time to film everything and don't have the time to edit all day every day to show all this stuff but let's see what else we might find in these last couple little boxes and another big box of dvds and blu-rays here this is like I think probably about the third big box full of them but they're all in here they've just gotten very difficult to sell these things but i can sell them for something but not like they used to that's for sure all right so that's pretty much lots of clothes i mean, I mean those will add up for sure because they're in those space bags so they're packed really really tight lots of dvds unfortunately dvds just don't bring i mean i say this all the time but they just don't they don't bring hardly anything anymore and other than that a lot of regular old household stuff we did have the nintendo stuff um there was a brand new super nintendo well, it's the original super nintendo controller it was a little bit smashed the box was but it was still sealed up it had never been opened so i'm going to post that thing online probably and see what it goes for but pretty much done with this stuff and there's shoes and that that I haven't even really looked at, but it looks, it's like a bunch of women's shoes. And but that's it. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Have a good one.